day two here at Ignite and the announcements are not slowing down. Now yesterday we focused on compute services such as the new Azure Arc and Azure Synapse Analytics. And if you missed that episode, go back and watch it now. Now today I focus on the wealth of container and Kubernetes news from here at Microsoft Ignite in Orlando. In particular, we cover Azure Kubernetes services gets threat protection, new Azure monitor features for containers, Kubernetes on Azure Stack Hub enters general availability, and a bunch of new features for Kubernetes clusters on Azure. This is Azure This Week, the show that lies sleepless at night wondering what the next Azure feature will be, and will there ever be an Azure region next to the ACG Orbital headquarters? Security on Kubernetes is vague when it comes to developer knowledge. Few people have any extensive knowledge or experience with it, and when it comes to containers and security. Now, the attack surfaces on containers are very different from traditional network services and resources. For those reasons, Security Center is expanding their support to Azure Kubernetes services with some new capabilities. Continues discovery of managed AKS instances within Security Center's registered subscriptions. Actionable items to help comply to security best practices in AKS as part of the you know, improving your security score, such as getting alerts about role-based access control that should be used to restrict access to a Kubernetes service cluster. And finally, threat detection for host and cluster-based analytics, such as a privileged container has been detected. These features are now all available in preview. Monitoring containers is critical, especially when running a production cluster at scale with multiple applications. Azure Monitor for Containers is a feature designed to monitor the performance of containers, workloads, uh, and they're all deployed to an Azure Container instance or managed Kubernetes clusters on AKS. At Ignite, two new Azure Monitor for Containers features were announced. Hybrid monitoring, where customers who run a hybrid Kubernetes deployment uh, with on-premises and Azure infrastructure can now just use Azure Monitor for monitoring both environments. And this feature is in preview. Prometheus support, which is the capability to scrape Prometheus metrics and logs directly into Azure Monitor, and that is now generally available. In addition, Microsoft also unveiled multiple smaller enhancements, including cluster health rollup and live deployment metrics. The Azure Stack portfolio is an extension of Azure to consistently build and run hybrid applications across data centers, edge locations, remote offices, and cloud. Kubernetes on Azure Stack Hub is now in general availability, so you can create containers to your heart's content. This small but significant announcement comes with a whole swath of other features also being released for Azure Stack Hub, such as Azure Arc that I spoke about yesterday, Azure Stream Analytics, Event Hubs, and much more. I end the show today with a few small bits of container news. Azure Availability Zones help AKS customers protect applications and data against hardware failures and during planned maintenance events. The multiple node pools feature helps customers better manage compute resources, and it allows customers to use different virtual machine sizes in each pool to run various workloads in a single AKS cluster. Cluster auto scaling allows customers to precisely tune the cluster scaling behavior of their environments to meet workload demand. These features are now all in general availability. But also, AKS is now available in four additional regions, North United Arab Emirates, North Switzerland, West Switzerland, and West Central Germany. That's it for day two at Microsoft Ignite, right here in Orlando, Florida. I will get straight back to work and get the next lot of announcements ready for you for tomorrow. As we say on the A Cloud Guru team, when there are 25,000 Microsoft professionals to get certified on the A Cloud Guru platform, seek and you shall cloud. So see you tomorrow and keep being awesome cloud gurus.